We go to number 83. What should be avoided in arranging the items of the final form of the test? Anong dapat mong i-avoid pag ina-arrange mo ang items sa isang test? Is it letter A? Space the items so they can be read easily. Letter B, follow a definite response pattern for the correct answer to ensure ease of scoring. Letter C, arrange the sections such that they progress from the very simple to the very complex. Letter D, keep all the items and options together on the same page. Okay, what's the correct answer for number 83? What should be avoided? Okay, you have the, the term avoided there. Anong kailangan mong i-avoid? Okay, so 83, ano kaya ang correct answer natin? Alright, so many of you are answering C, B, my D, B, C. Okay, let's go back to our question. So again, sabi ng question, what should be avoided in arranging the items? Letter A, space the items so they can be read easily. Okay, so tama naman, dapat may proper spacing yung items natin. Letter B, sabi ng letter B mo, follow a definite response pattern. May pattern dapat yung response mo for the correct answer to ensure ease of scoring. That means my response. So, um, A, A, B, B, then A, A, B, B, ulit, then A, A, B, B, ulit, then A, A, B, B, ulit. That's the definite response pattern for correct answer. Letter C mo, arrange the sections such that they progress from the very simple to the very complex. That's correct. Keep all the items and options together on the same page. Dapat yung question at yung choices nasa the same page. That's also correct. Okay? Keep all the items and options together on the same page. That is correct. So your answer would be letter B. Follow a definite response pattern for the correct answer to ensure ease of scoring. Okay? So again... The correct answer here is letter B. Dapat walang pattern yung correct answer mo. Kasi pag nangyari yon, hindi na mag-iisip yung students mo. Pag nakita nila yung pattern na A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, D, then A, B, C, D, sasabihin nila, ah, pagkatapos ng D, A na yung answer. Ah, pagkatapos ng, ng A, B na kaagad yung answer. Okay? So next item, alam na nila kung ano yung answer. Yung letter A mo is tama. Space the item so they can be read easily. Letter C mo is tama. Dapat eh, you start from the simple to the more complex. Letter D mo is also tama. Keep all the items and options together in the same page. Dapat kung ang question mo ay nasa page na to, nandyan din yung choices mo para hindi buklat ng buklat yung estudyante mo, okay? Because that would be a waste of time. That would be very uh, irritating to your students.